Good morning guys, welcome to a day in the life. So after I wake up in the morning, I usually start off my mornings with meditation. So I will do this either in my bed or in my living room. Today I am going to be doing it in the living room. Like I said, I don't do this every single morning, but honestly I have done it for majority of the mornings, especially when I'm not traveling. This is why I really, really enjoy the time that I have whenever I'm home. It really gives me my routine back. So. So I will start off with five minutes of meditation. I just think it's more important to do it consistently than rather a really long session once a week. So I would rather do five minutes at least for Monday to Friday. So usually what I'll do is I will just sit on my couch and I will have a blanket. And usually I like to play some soft music in the background. I like either like yoga, meditation, music from Spotify that just sort of plays. So I will get on with my meditation. The next thing that I will do always after meditation is I always go into my five minute journal. I posted about this a lot, like just throughout the year last year, even in my 2023 goals, you probably saw that I always incorporate this. I absolutely love to do this in the morning. It's just such a great exercise. You have a morning section and a night section. So I just do the morning section in the morning and I read the quote that they have for me. Um, I just think it really sets me up for a good day. And during this time, I will also be drinking my coffee. So yeah, let me do my five minute drink. Hey Google, what's the date today? It's Monday, January 23rd, 2023. On mornings that I wake up around 6 a.m., I will likely, likely, keyword, I will read my book of the week or I will journal or both actually. I will even take time to do a little bit of mindful affirmations. This just once again sets me up for a really, really great day and my goal is to read a book a week. For the rest of 2023, I've always had a reading goal ever since 2021, I think. So this is usually when I would do it. However, because I didn't wake up at 6 a.m. today, so I woke up at 8 a.m. today, I go directly into my oral care and then I go to the gym. Okay, the next part of my routine is my oral care routine. So if you guys didn't know, fun fact about me and my family is we really, really, really are obsessed with our oral care routine, even for Christmas. The Christmas presents that my parents got me all had to do with oral care. They gave me a water flosser, etc. They gave me all the goods. And every time I go back to Vancouver to see them, they stock me up with like floss, um, toothpaste, mouthwash, like stuff like that. It's definitely very, very important to us. Um, so I'm very excited to run you through my oral care routine. A lot of you may or may not know, but I am now a full-time content creator. If you guys missed you know, the beginning parts of my journey, I actually did a YouTube video talking to you guys about how I quit my job and um, stuff like that because I used to work full-time in corporate. So anyway, now that I have quit my job and I'm in front of the camera a lot, part of my oral care routine, one thing I really, really prioritize is whitening because I just feel like I always have to look presentable in front of the camera and more importantly it's not even about the looking good it's about the confidence the more I feel like my teeth are white the more confidence I bring so I'm gonna run you through my oral care routine and the whole theme behind each product that I use is actually to do with whitening so we have the toothpaste we have the mouthwash and later on tonight I'm going to show you how I use my white strips as well this is the toothpaste I use it is the Crest 3D White Brilliance Toothpaste. And what I love about this toothpaste, not only does it focus a lot on brightening, but it also has this really, really minty smell. So it really makes me feel like I have, you know, fresh minty breath, especially for the first thing in the morning, I'm going to the gym. You know, I just still want to kind of like 
smell fresh and stuff like that. One of the really great things about this toothpaste, and I'm going to leave a list of benefits here, is that when you combine it with brushing your teeth twice a day, it actually has 24 hour stain protection. So this is amazing because as you guys saw from earlier, I drink my coffee black. I don't typically drink my coffee with any type of creamer or whatever, unless if I'm buying coffee outside that day and then I'll treat myself to a cappuccino. But at home, I usually drink my coffee black. So I heard that black coffee stains your teeth really, really badly. Thankfully with this toothpaste, you get the stain protection. Another great thing about this toothpaste is that there's also up to 100% of stain removal in five days. So this is definitely one to incorporate into your routine as well if you want to prioritize whitening. Before I move on to mouthwash, I just also want to talk about the ingredients of this toothpaste. So this toothpaste actually contains fluoride, which also prevents cavities, which is amazing because I haven't had cavities since I was little until two years ago. I had cavities again. I forgot how unpleasant the experience was when you have cavities and you got to have them removed. So uh, after that recent experience again, I'm just like, oh my God, I have to just really, really, really take care of my teeth just because that way it prevents all the really uncomfortable visits to the dentist. But anyway, I wanted to move on to mouthwash. Honestly, mouthwash is quite a new step of my routine. I never used to um, use mouthwash, but recently I've been incorporating it. So so this also builds on to my whitening experience and moreover I really really also like the effects of how this makes your breath smell minty fresh and lastly um, this one is actually alcohol and peroxide free so this is why I really like it. Okay, so that concludes the end of my morning oral routine. During the middle of the day, I will also repeat this process again because I have Invisaligns, so I always have to brush my teeth after I eat. So usually after lunch, I'll brush my teeth again and do the mouthwash and then put my Invisaligns back on. I also found that it is really helpful because with Invisaligns, you can see a lot of the staining um, when I take off my Invisaligns. I've been definitely seeing a lot less of the staining um, when I take off my Invisaligns after one week to replace for the next one. So it definitely does work. And then at night, I'm gonna show you guys when I use my Crest White Strips because Crest White Strips, I'm sure so many of you have used it before. I know I have, I know all my friends have, but I really like to use this in conjunction with my nighttime self-care routine just because I feel like it promotes the most and highest level of self-care when you're like whitening your teeth and I'm also just like relaxing and doing my whole skincare. So I'm really excited to show you that but in the meantime I'm gonna get ready for the gym this is also where I wash my face and this is where I actually also keep a very very minimal morning skincare routine all I do is I slap on if my skin is really dry a moisturizer and then a little bit of sunscreen because after my workout I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna shower so for the morning part I really really keep it simple um, especially because I work out right away and everything comes off that's the next part but I will see you guys at my workout Next up is the gym. So I go with sweat and tonic, a lot of guys know that, and I'm here right now. I just finished my workout at sweat and tonic so usually I do either a weight training class or Pilates I used to do just Pilates or just weight training but now in one week I'm usually like a hybrid girly so like Monday to Friday I'll always have a mix between Pilates and weight I feel like that has given me the best results but upon coming home, what I just finished is I always just call my agent after I finish working out just because we'll kind of run through my day, recent campaigns that I'm working on. And yes, this happens every day. I'm very forgetful. So I always just want to call her to be like, okay, what am I missing? She'll also kind of call me and tell me the new deals that are coming in to see if I'm interested in working with brands, etc. When I get home, because I do this on my walk back, but when I get home, I immediately hop into the shower. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you guys what I do afterwards. 
I just finished taking a shower and I'm preparing myself for lunch. So this has been my life for a really long time now, but every time I'm home, I try not to order out or if I do order out, I actually try to choose pretty healthy. Today's a little bit different because yesterday was Chinese New Year's and I have some leftovers, but the concept is pretty much the same. What I typically eat for lunch is something with carbs. Usually I actually like to eat like rice and quinoa, a veggie and then some sort of protein. So this is pretty much very accurate, but this is all like takeout food which I usually just make myself um, usually I bake like a salmon filet for myself and then have some veggies and then for dinner I usually like to save like just having like greens and protein but anyway how my days are usually structured on the weekday as a like typical influencer life I think there's three different structures one is either like an office admin day the second day is either a content day and then the third day is either gonna be like a day full of meetings and or going out to events or going out and I guess like networking if you will the one glimpse that you are going to see because I was kind of like I'm gonna film it on an actual like interesting work day which is still typical because I'm like there's only so much you guys can see me just working at the desk I'm sure you don't need a visual of that because that's boring the sun is also really nice today so I already filmed a TikTok video I just filmed a rant sometimes I have these like random rants and then I like go on TikTok and then somehow like people like me ranting, I guess. I'm gonna go to an event at Yorkdale Mall for this Tiffany & Co pop-up. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Most events are usually after work hours, but there are some events during the day and this is an example of one of them. So I'm very excited to bring you guys along for that. Okay guys, we are finally at Tiffany & Co. We are gonna be checking out the Tiffany & Co lock pop-up in a second, but for now we are in the private room. We're trying on some jewelry. <laughs> And what? <laughs> this is funny because this isn't my typical vlog. This is my day in the life. And of course, your Sarah's in my day in the life. She's like in my life every day. She really missed you guys. Oh, and this is Shivani, of course. <laughs> you guys remember? Her. And this is Claudia. Say hi. hi. And we're in this, like, the fancy part of Tiffany and Co. at the Yorkdale location. Whoa. This is the lock bracelet. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, so wow. Cool, right? This is so nice. Behind the scenes, influencers helping each other take some photos. I have the ring, I have the earrings. I feel extremely exposed right now, but we are here at the Tiffany & Co. lock. People have their eyes on me right now, but this is what it looks like. So excited to go inside. We just finished at the event and I am now at Michelle's because I am gonna get my almond. No, are they gone? Oh no, it's down there. Oh, thank God. Right there, right there. Okay guys, this is the best place that you can get an almond croissant and it's warm. I'm gonna have it right now. I am currently sitting down and doing some work. Usually I do not actually work here, but my house is currently a huge mess because this week I've had to catch up on all of my packages from when I was sick and away. So there was a huge accumulation. And then on top of that, one of my really good friends, Victoria came over to help me Marie Kondo. I was telling her, I was like, I am honestly so sick of the vibe of my place in terms of just the sheer quantity of stuff that I have. Of course, being in this industry allows me to get a lot of gifted stuff, which I am super grateful for. But a lot of the times, if especially if you are trying to live a minimum lifestyle, from my understanding, being a minimalist, the way to do it, when you bring one thing in, one thing has to go out, and that's how you kind of keep your minimalistic lifestyle. What is tough about this industry is that the sheer number of items that come into the house greatly exceeds the amount that you would be able to purge on a given day. It has been extremely hard for me to just like keep my place minimal. So I have to do these like purge days pretty frequently. I do make so, so, so many donations. Like first try to sell some of the clothing. Also, I will donate a lot of the clothes to women's shelters. I also donate a lot of product to women's shelters. And I will also host fundraisers for beauty products. And then the money actually goes towards a cause. That is kind of the nature of this industry. But in the meantime, um, I have to get to work here um, so far. It's been comfortable, but I still prefer my desk, I think, because I have two screens on there. We're doing some work. Um, I went to shower and now I am making myself some dinner. I don't know if this is like an Asian thing, but my dad 
and mom, I guess, my, my both my parents, have told me it's really bad to eat and then shower right away. I don't know if that's true, but if it is, this is why I do it. Um, also because I'm eating late today. Like I usually eat very early and then shower like quite late, but I'm, I'm just like ending off my day. I had so much work to do, I forgot to eat. So here I am. I'm gonna show you what my dinner is tonight. This actually is kind of typical. So I have been trying to eat very healthy and I'm also trying to stick to a little bit on the low carb side right now, just because I am going to Hawaii. I've been working out really hard and also trying to to eat very clean. Honestly, this is like such a reality of being in this industry because I just feel like if I wasn't a content creator and I wasn't in front of the camera the entire time, I would let myself go. I wouldn't be working this hard eating this clean. You know what I mean? Like if nobody's gonna see me, then who cares? But anyway. I've said this since I was very young, but I know exactly why God didn't give me a very, very, very high metabolism because if he did, I literally would not even see the inside of what a gym looks like because I would not care. But he knew that the only way for me to work out is if I needed to. So now I do every day and I've actually grown to like it. He's given me ADHD and also a not so fast metabolism plus an extreme love for food. So when you combine all of these things, it, you know, as a result, I need to work out to kind of like, you know, balance out all the stuff that I eat and everything. Whenever I do try to, you know, cut and stuff, it is a little bit hard. So my goal is always to try to find um, recipes that I truly enjoy. I feel like in the winter time, one of my favorite things is soup. So, so far, I think I mentioned already, for lunch I love to eat salad, which never used to be me. I actually made a TikTok about this. I never used to be this person where I enjoy working out, eating salads and stuff like that. Lately I have because I think really once you get into this habit and routine, you actually eventually lose a lot of your cravings. So it doesn't really affect me as much, but I also will show you my fun snack, which actually is delicious and very healthy. So I'll show you my dinner first. This is a steamer that I got from Taiwan in case you guys don't know what a steamer looks like. So the reason why the steamer is really good is because when it is done, it will pop up and it will keep the food warm instead of like overcooking or whatever. It just cooks up until you need to. It's different than steaming on the stove because obviously you gotta watch for that before it like all the water's gone, gone and then it's just, you're gonna cause a fire. But this will safely shut off when you are done steaming. And I like to re-steam my food because my parents are very healthy and they've always taught me to not use the microwave. So I actually don't use the microwave that that often I always reheat my food from the steamer the other day I made soup and then this is what I'm reheating I also really like to use my steamer because um, it heats like to the core of everything and if you have really like dry meat when you microwave it it almost gets more dry but like if you steam it it actually kind of like gives the moisture back I used to make fun of my mom for this and now I am becoming her the soup that I'm having is a kimchi miso soup that I made there's tofu some bok choy. It kind of looks gross, but I promise you it's actually delicious. And I also um, dropped in a few eggs. And there's also some pork that my neighbor made and he gave me. And there's also seaweed. So this is like super low cal. And because of all the protein, I really don't feel like I am, you know, missing out on carbs or anything. And I really want to show you my healthy snack. I think I've shared this before, but I'm not sure. I love eating an avocado with this seaweed. I just like like to cut it and wrap it around. I think this was like a hack that a lot of people had, but this is absolutely my favorite snack. It's so delicious. It tastes like sushi, super low cal, cal keto. Not that I'm keto, but like, you know, it's keto and it is so healthy for you because avocado is a good fat and really good for your brain, which is what I need for um, being ADHD and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, the day is finally over for me and I am finally getting ready to go to bed. So this is going to be the start of my night routine. So I'm very excited because once again, 
we're gonna do the entire oral care routine. So this is usually where I have my most extensive flossing system. So that's when I use the water floss, the pick as a floss, and I also obviously still use the regular floss that everyone has. Because I'm also teeth whitening in preparation for my trip to Hawaii, um, I will also be doing a mouthwash before I whiten my teeth. Whenever I use mouthwash before I whiten my teeth, it makes me feel even cleaner, just really that the debris is coming off. It might be a psychological thing. Obviously it does also work really, really well, but also I think it helps with me psychologically, thinking that I'm really clearing everything I possibly can for my teeth to have the really, really good basis for teeth whitening. Anyway, I'm gonna show you all of that. I'm starting with the water floss. One thing I will say about flossing is that I recently learned in the dentist that when you floss, you need to go into your gum on both ends. And when I say recently, not as in like last week, but like as in only a few years ago, which I don't know, I lived a majority of my life not knowing that, but you're supposed to go into your gum. So it has been a game changer for me. So I absolutely love that. If you guys are also wondering why I have my headband on, usually for my night routine, depending on how extensive I like to go into, today you're gonna see the full thing. Just like how even today in my morning routine, I really showed you guys the whole thing. I don't do it every single morning because like I said, a lot of times I'm traveling. If I'm traveling, I might not do the whole thing or if I wake up late sometimes, etc. But I'm really trying to show you like a holistic one, especially an ideal one for me every day. But also do not feel pressured if you're not someone who like doesn't meditate or something like that, you know what I mean? So for today's night routine, because I am going to be whitening my teeth um, during the 30 minutes, I wanna do this extensive like self-care routine. Sometimes I actually just do it in a robe, but today, I don't know, I just like thought it looked really cute with this like white headband to match with my PJs. So I'm gonna be doing like the whole shebang, like wasa, like skincare while my teeth is in the midst of whitening. But first, of course, before I go ahead and whiten my teeth, I gotta brush it first. So I'm going back in with my toothpaste. I am actually almost done it. It's like actually like halfway. What I also like about it is that this is under 100 milliliters. What I also like about it is that this is under 100 milliliters. So I am able to bring it with me um, to go to Hawaii even on a carry-on, even though I'm not bringing a carry-on because let's be real, I'm gone for a month. So after Hawaii, I'm actually going to Taiwan. Since the borders opened up, if you guys didn't know, I'm Taiwanese. So I'm finally able to see my extended family. It's been a really, really long time coming. So I'm very excited. But like I said, because there's so many issues with luggages lately, um, if you guys are not planning to bring in a checked in luggage. This is also great because it's 100 milliliters. Okay, now that I have brushed my teeth, I'm going back in with the Crest 3D White Brilliance mouthwash. Okay, so I am now about to go in with the Crest 3D White Strips. I am sure so many of you have already use this before, it is so common. It's like super easy to use. You can use this in the comfort of your own home so you still get professional teeth whitening results without having to leave your house. And we all know that this is the vibe now, you know? It's like working from home, doing your teeth whitening from home. Everything is just like from home now. And I think like more than ever, we, we really start valuing our time. And I think I really like this because like I said, I'm so busy. I just need to be doing other things while I'm doing this. So when I finally have a night to kind of just do like a full self-care whatever if I'm gonna do my full skincare routine with a mask like I can tonight I'm gonna just do my guasa and I'm gonna definitely still read before bed but usually even the night care routine already it takes me a really really long time so I'm gonna show you guys after you rip off the white strips you get these two little strips one is for the top and one is for the bottom the longer one is for the top so you just very easily rip this off you start pressing it 
against your teeth, but you wanna just press it like a little bit above your teeth. It's so easy. And you cut it in like so. You put your fingers and press it behind the back of your teeth. And I just love this because it really is malleable and it works on everyone's teeth and shape because it is literally like tape. And while this is happening, I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare routine. So after the 30 minutes is up, you can rip off the white strips and that's pretty much it. So a little behind the scenes for you as a content creator. I really appreciate when brands send one always for me to test. Not like I even really needed to test the white strips because I've already used it so I know it's good. Um, so no time was needed for the white strips. But they send two because one, if for example, I haven't used it in a while so i was like okay i'm gonna start using it again and i brought it with me to vancouver and so this box was like you know all used up and just like not really commercial friendly anymore as you can see the box is kind of pretty beat up whenever um brands send kind of like a secondary box just for marketing purposes i can shoot with my videographer and he can basically like still have a really clean shot even though the product has been tested already so even with you know some other campaigns you'll sometimes see like why does it look brand new but in reality the brand new is just for like the b-roll the marketing stuff but then um the products have all been thoroughly tested before um i go ahead and talk about it in my videos i think a lot of you who are People who regularly watch my videos will know this. Whenever I review products, I'm just genuinely not comfortable endorsing a product that is not good. So um, this is why I really appreciate when a brands always like give you a lot of time to try out the product first and then also send you some extra material so that one is good for testing and one is good for just like shooting content and stuff like that but since this is a day in the life of vlog i thought i would show some behind the scenes of how some of these campaigns are also shot and how they're worked on as well okay so at this point of the night it is pretty much my night routine the rest of my night routine not including my self-care that i've already sort of indulged in usually also to be transparent for the white strips i will most likely also be doing this part here but today my night routine took a little bit longer than usual and um usually if i want to include a body that's what makes it take longer but a lot of the times i'm also here with my white strips just reading but how i like to close the night in order to hit my goal of one book a week so far i have been super bad with it but i will continue to read my books of the month or so so for example like i like to either use my kindle or my book book i sometimes like to also read two books at once i don't necessarily am like strict on like okay you must finish one book before you finish the other book i can read it both simultaneously just depending on my mood i also like to divide it in half like i like to have fictional books and non-fiction so it's not just like a lot of like self-help book type of thing but anyway the latest book i wanted to share with you guys is another book by louise hay this one is called life um i really like this book i actually attempted to read this in the bathtub the other day because my kindle was charging and then i accidentally dropped the book in the bathtub so that was fun but anyway this book is really really good i read half of it on the plane already in like one in one plane ride if you guys know i just absolutely love her stuff um i've already read two of her books and if you're ever curious about what book i'm reading um i try to update as much as i can remember um lisaway.com slash books so you guys can check that out i also die for my kindle especially when i'm traveling i just like need to bring this around because it can just store so many more books than taking up a lot of space rather than like a regular book two other things i like to do also is a close off my five minute journal so the nighttime portion of the five minute journal kind of thinking about the highlights of the day and what i learned that day and then if i have time and i'm not too tired i will also go through some more affirmations because i feel like it's really important to have these things going on in your brain 
as you're going to bed and then so hopefully you get to you know reach your goals and stuff like that anyway i really hope you guys um enjoyed this video because some people actually asked for it on instagram when i was like what do you guys want to know about being a content creator and stuff and then a lot of people wanted to know like a day in the life so once again for this video i wanted to show you like a lot of the extensive versions of my day and I try to show you also like a well-rounded aspect of like going to an event but then also like doing a lot of computer work I don't ever want videos like this for people to feel like oh my god I need to also wake up like super early and do all of this stuff like this is not like my every single damn day besides the oral routine okay i actually do the oral routine pretty much every day especially the teeth brushing for the teeth whitening for some extensive days i will go like every day with it but i'm not like also every single day obviously you can but just kind of like to set expectations here like there's so much content out there that makes people like almost feel bad about themselves I never want this video to be that so that this is why I keep on having so many disclaimers in this video to tell you guys like you know like I don't do like every single thing every single day like sometimes I don't have time to read sometimes I don't have time to journal so I think at the end of the day it's always important to like just work on what you want to work on for me I just kind of came to realize whenever I wake up early and whenever I read and do my affirmations and stuff that's when I have the best day but yeah it's always like the effort is what counts but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, if you guys have any more questions about being a content creator full-time or anything even about my oral routine cuz I could go on about it my family and I are just crazy about how much we care about our teeth let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video bye